All right, hi, Cancers. I actually had to, I actually had to do your reading over because I made a mistake and deleted it <laughs> when I when I was updating my MacBook and my phone. So, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'm doing a reading over. So this is for Cancer placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? So Cancer, what do you need to know right now? What do Cancer put? Your first reading was um, something about someone not being honest with themselves and others and things being harder than what they need to be because somebody is like pretending uh, let's see i don't really remember a lot let's see what's going on with cancer placements sun moon rising and venus So we got creation, but I don't like how that came out. Some of you guys could be working on creating something, building, joy. So joy is here. What? Hold on. So joy is here. Perfection. And we have forgiveness and insecurity. So I feel like, shh, shh, baby, please. I feel like, um, you singing? Shh, please whisper, whisper. The red talks about the root chakra. And the root chakra is, oh, don't mind my nails. You know, it's crazy. I just did these for my sister's birthday, her, her birthday dinner and it hasn't even been 10 days, I don't think. Definitely not two weeks. I'm never going. I didn't go to my usual place. That's what happens when you settle, okay? When you settle, you pay for it later. So I was running. I was not being diligent with my time, and I settled. Because had I did things ahead of time, had I did things, had I planned better, I would have been able to go to my um, regular place, which is little. It's in the city. I'm in the Bronx. So I just went to some place by me and anyway, so I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm not happy about this, but yeah, anyways. Um, the root chakra is about our foundations and our foundations are set. The root chakra is developed between the age of one and seven, right? So very crucial time for kids and just us as just, you know, even us, right? Because at that, whatever, so think of the hero font and the hero font is about beliefs traditions values morals you know faith or lack thereof religion and spirituality and you know just your beliefs right depending on what happens between that age we formulate certain beliefs about ourselves money love people connections um faith you know and and knowledge and things like that so there could be a foundation whether this is something that is you know there's there could be some type of um there's somebody's foundation is wobbly whether this is something within yourself some of you guys could be really insecure about something this could be about love it could be about money it could be about um vulnerability intimacy business school you don't know you know you, you know you gotta apply it to where it fits the insecurity is that that devil and you know it's don't let the devil don't let the devil ride your back okay we got trickery here and this also came out for you guys but it came out here so i'm glad this came out again don't let nobody trick you out your spot number one and what was let me see if i do i cannot can i remember i know what the trickery i'll read this i'll read the trickery for you guys again. I'm just gonna kind of breeze, well not breeze through, but. Okay, trickery, Kelly the Green Dragon. The tempter is as guilty as the thief. The legend, Kelly the Green Dragon has one jumbo sized acorn to get him through the winter. 
Squirrel spies a huge acorn and decides he just has to have it to win the Forbes annual acorn contest. To tempt Kelly, he fills a basket with rocks and scatters the tiny acorns he has collected on top. Kelly fills the weight of the basket and steals it, allowing Squirrel to grab the single acorn. But they both lose. Kelly now has less food and a squirrel is disqualified from the contest for cheating. Inspiration. During trying times, things may be easier if you ask for help. Don't be disappointed if assistance does not come from the place you expect. Personal inquiry. Am I afraid to tell the truth? How does that fear make me manipulate others? What do I really need to say? Key ideas. Dance of scarcity, conveying possessions, vulnerable heart, self-honesty, accusing others, hidden motives. Keywords, vision, honesty, and greed. Meditation, who do you identify with? The squirrel, the trickster, or Kelly, the greedy dragon? When you close your eyes, which one comes forward? Who is, who it is, who, whoever it is, ask him what is he afraid of? Listen, then ask the great spirits for guidance. Their guidance may come during your meditation or at a later time. So, Cancers, this could either be you dealing with this or you could be the person that's doing this, right? I feel like, and this came out as your first card in your in the first reading I did for you guys. The one that got deleted by, the one I deleted by mistake. Well, I didn't delete it by mistake. I thought it was saved to my thing, but it wasn't. But anyways, this came out first. And I spent a lot of time on this card. A lot. So, you know, Cancers, you know how sometimes you guys... Could be good at um that emotional manipulation you guys have this thing where you guys are able to make people feel bad about things that you do right so this could be something and but that's usually a learned behavior from a parent right cancers rule the mother cancer is ruled by the moon the moon rules our emotions the moon is the mother the sun is the father the moon is our subconscious the, and the moon is our emotional well what makes us feel emotionally safe and content now i you know so cancers either you guys are either coming across people who are manipulating you conning you tricking you deceiving you um dangling carrots in front of you to get what they want whether it's in business love or money right or you're the ones doing this so you know Cancers also rule the fourth house. The fourth house is our roots, our home, our family, our, you know, our family lineage. Where are you guys getting that from? And if it's something that's happening to you guys, what does your foundation say about yourself and about your beliefs regarding yourself and relationships or business or money and what you deserve and things like that? Are there some subconscious beliefs that you may have about yourself that you don't even realize? or about relationships, about intimacy, about money that you don't realize, about business. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people also uh, deceive you because the person that's doing the deceiving, both people are wrong in this because the squirrel is wrong. Kelly, the, the dragon is wrong for being greedy. Gluttony is a deadly sin, right? And then the squirrel is wrong for um, cheating, lying. You know being deceptive and also just you know also kelly the dragon didn't do their due diligence they didn't really check they didn't check thoroughly they didn't check the basket thoroughly they just you know they he just the squirrel was able to stack um a few acorns on top of rocks so either you or somebody in your energy somebody didn't do their due diligence and it's because somebody wanted something so bad or wanted someone so bad they didn't really look they didn't really um they didn't do their due diligence. So I would say to you, Cancers, do your due diligence. And make sure you're not cheating and conning just to get ahead. So flip and switch it, okay? Let's read Joy. Okay. Dancing Daisy. Let's jump and see what happens. The legend. We don't know how much about dancing. We don't know much about dancing Daisy, but we do know what she, we do know that she brings joy whenever she appears. Everyone who sees her becomes happier and more peaceful. Arguments cease as she comes close. People are even healed physically as a result of her presence. No one knows where she came from, and just before the TV crews arrive, she leaves. <laughs> dancing Daisy represents a new joyous phase in life and a significant change, such as a move, a new job, or a marriage this is the moment after the leap you may not see where you are going but you will land on your feet 
personal inquiry. What can I do to invite happiness into my life? Being present is not the same as truly experiencing something. Key ideas, a conduit for joy, detached from joy, higher purpose, profoundly impacting lives, improved health, a birth. Keywords, joy, playfulness, and delight. Sit with dancing Daisy, look at her and allow her joy to fill you. Now imagine a ball of sunshine in your solar plexus. Let it expand, allowing the room to be filled with this radiant energy. Send it out to the universe with love. Things manifest quickly after touching this energy. Okay, so cancers, let me give Noah some water. For, you know, these kids, man. Child, be your own, you know, they, they just... You know, I tell y'all shouldn't be bothering me until I hop on these readings. It's, it's giving hater. Hold on. It's, you know, it's giving. Hold on, cancers. All right, Cancers, how do you guys bring joy into people's lives if you do? Okay, keep, I don't mean it like that, but like, are you are you coming into people's lives with the intention of bringing joy to them? Or are you coming into people's lives with the intention to like take, right? And then I guess reverse the question, right? Are you allowing people to come into your life to bring joy or are you allowing them to disturb your peace? What are you allowing to disturb your peace and what ways can you, and write those things down. You know, write down whether it's work, school, family, um, certain friends, uh, certain things your kids do. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they're of age, right? If they're toddlers or babies, you can't really, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, like, grown kids, like, adult kids who are, like, 18, like, 20, 21 and over, or, or even in their teens, right? Whatever. But people that have, people who have functioning brains and who know what they're doing or not doing. Um, how do you allow people to steal your joy? How can you bring more joy into people's lives? How can you be yourself so you can be truly happy? How can you live in your truth so you can be more of a free, a free and carefree spirit? You know what I'm saying? You know, so that's, you know, so that's something. And then we have perfection. Righteous raspberry. I have the same high standards for myself as I have for others. The legend. Raspberry needs no makeup to assinuate her exquisite features, but she wears it anyway. She is a perfectionist. She speaks the truth at all times, believing that she is helping others by sharing her truth. While statements such as your child is overweight are honest, they make others avoid her. Lonely, she seeks the advice of her favorite elderberry, who teaches her that honesty without kindness is cruelty. Her new vulnerability allows her to see the beauty in others as well as in herself. Inspiration, are you being too hard on yourself and consequently on others? Begin to look for what's right and good in your world, and you will see it. Personal inquiry. Where am I presently focusing, knowing what's right and telling others about it might not be the best way of being? Key ideas. Alienating others, feeling alienated, seeking perfection, deeply desiring love, transformation ahead. Keywords. Uniqueness, friendship, acceptance. Meditation. Think about the people in your life. Find something good about every person who comes into your mind, no matter who they are or how you feel about them, before you release them. You know this meditation has concluded when no more people come forward. Now, cancers, right? Or a cross-watcher, if you're dealing with a cancer, you know, whatever, right? Um, are you, so this kind of reminds me of like the popcorn, the kettle black. So some of you guys could either this is you that do that does this to people or people that do this to you, right? You may have had a parent that was overly critical. You may be the overly critical parent. You know, somebody, The per, this car gives me Virgo energy, the perfection, right? It, it, some of y'all may have Virgo as your moon rising or Venus, or you could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be a Virgo with cancer placements, or you could be dealing with somebody that has Virgo in their chart. If not, you could have been around somebody, grew up around them, grew up. They could have raised you or this could be you. Some of y'all could have had, 
there's this um this nitpicking this never satisfied type of energy right whether this is a spouse a partner a parent a child a teacher that that you know teachers are very important in our upbringing because they also contribute to the foundations that are set again remember the found the hero font Hero font talks about beliefs, and uh, and that's that, that's our root chakra. So teach our first teachers, which are our parents, they are our first authoritative figures. We, you know, our parents teach us about authority in others, and how we ha how we show up as a how we show up in our own in authority, and how we accept authority of others, right? And you know, and you know, that's I can get into it, but we'll be here forever. It's already fifteen minutes, but um. Do you guys uphold the same standards you uh, you point to others? It's like somebody saying, well, uh, a man can't be with me unless he's making 200K. Well, what are you doing? Not saying that, you know, whatever, but like, are you even striving to that? Are you even close to that? Are you know what I'm saying? Like, or, um, or a man like, oh, I can't, I, I can't be with, or a man that's like, oh, I need, I need my, I can't, I can't date a, a, a hoe or this or that. But meanwhile, he's running around town, gallivating, gallivating around town, doing whatever he, you know, it's like just, and I'm just, those are extreme examples. Those may not resonate with you guys. I'm just trying to give you guys examples of what it looks like to point the finger and have all these standards for people that you may not have for yourself. And don't let people have all these standards for you that they don't fucking have for them fucking selves. We are all learning here. Nobody's better than the other. As above, so below. So the minute you think you're above somebody, you're going to think you're below somebody else. So nobody's better or less than anybody. I don't care what people have or don't have. Every, we're just, everybody's just going through life, experiencing things, going through different, ex experiencing life in their own way, on their own journey. Nobody is better than anyone. We've all just made different choices that lead us on different paths. At any point in time, the a, a decision or choice could send us backwards or send us in a dark place or in a better place. So, you know, everybody is one accident away from being disabled. So nobody should be making, you know, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Anything can change in the blink of an eye. So it's never good to point the finger and, and things like that. And don't let people do that to you. Okay. Also, don't be hard on yourself. When you're hard on yourself, you know, Ask yourself, am I being am I being a perfectionist because I want to be what other people want or need me to be, or am I being myself? Because if you are yourself, you won't have to hold yourself to these standards that may be unrealistic for you. And that way you can show up authentically to people and they won't have these unrealistic expectations of you. You know what I'm saying? So everybody wins here, right? What's forgiveness? And if you have kids, you need to model what it's like to be to live in your truth and be confident in that so they can do the same for themselves. We, we you know our parents tell us all the time, well, why you let people why you let people do that to you? Why, 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 you know, be yourself? And it's like, well, mm, the popcorn and kettle black. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, so me be, be, be mindful that you're not doing this to others, whether you're a parent, a friend, a spouse, a partner, a sibling, an employee, a manager whatever and be mindful of people not doing this to you okay don't let nobody project their things you're here to you're here to live you're here to be happy and and to and to live joyously however that looks to you not what you think it looks like to others to you okay and that's how you will gravitate to the right people that will love you for you and not for this facade that you put on which then doesn't it just ends up just blowing up in smoke at some point in time or will whether this is whether that's you or you coming across people like that and if you're coming across people like that again go back into your root chakra examine your foundations what are your beliefs about yourself about love about money about business that may be false what are some beliefs that you have that have come from negative experiences or painful or, or unfavorable experiences that may have shaped your beliefs about certain areas of your life or about yourself that could be getting in the way so forgiveness, Rhonda Rhino from Amethyst. Ooh, we never forgive others, only ourselves for having judged them. The legend in the town of Amethyst lives Rhonda Rhino. She doesn't take her mother's drinking problem personally. 
but she dreams of becoming a beloved family pet. One day, gunfire rings out, rhinos scatter, and a small human child is caught up in the chaos. Rhonda picks him up and runs to safety. Humans discover the pair curled up asleep under a tree, and they shoot Rhonda with a sleeping dart. When she awakens, she is in a garden with the little boy and his family, Rhonda's new family. Oh my God, I feel like crying. Oh my God. Inspiration, Rhonda's true essence lies in not harboring resentment. She transcends forgiveness because her focus is on her intention, not on her pain. Oh my God. Personal inquiry, this may be a time of family healing. Can I forgive myself for loving people who hurt me? Key ideas, wishes fulfilled, holding on to dreams, past wounding. Back to that root chakra. Keywords, belonging, self-forgiveness, and fulfillment. Meditation, take a deep breath, exhaling all that does not serve you. Bring forward someone you are struggling to forgive. See them as a small child. Allow them to reach out to you. Notice your reaction to them. Which deserves your energy? Holding on to your dream or holding on to resentment? I want to cry. Oh, my God. I don't know. That just made me... Oh, wait. I, I got to get my other deck cancers because I didn't use these cards for that. Hold on. God, I feel like crying. That was so sweet. That really touched me. Cancers, and you see the small child here, right? And we were talking about your foundations. So, and again, Cancers, you rule the fourth house, which is family, family ties, roots, lineage, you know, home, the mother, or the, or the, well, so, okay, so some in astrology say the fourth house is the mother, the tenth house is the father, because tenth house rules authoritative figures, and fathers are usually the authoritative parent, but say you grew up in a, 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 a single family home, and your mother was the authoritative figure, that would be, she would be the tenth house, your father would be the fourth, because he was the more passive parent, okay, so, there may be, and maybe it's both parents, right, for different reasons, but some of you guys, you may be, whether this is a parent, a, um, a partner, a child, maybe, there may be someone that you're struggling to forgive, and this person could have caught, this person, this is like some deep inner child wounding that you may have or somebody around you does. You guys may need to, um, if you're the ones going around wounding people, there could be a deep inner child wound that is not healed that you have not been facing it could be a mother wound because i most cancers they don't they have very they don't or most cancer placements sun moon rising and venus their relationship with their mother or the mother figures in their life who raised them or who were around them it's you know speak to a cancer they'll tell you they'll tell you their mother done said or did some things or something that made them feel really insecure about themselves i, I guarantee you Okay, but there may be, um, you may need to see this parent, this person as a child and understand that that person, and I'm not, and this is not excusing nobody, but hurt people hurt people. So if you had a parent, like my dad, he said something to me between the age of one and seven that was really mean. Bless you, Novi. And that's something, even as an adult, either after all the years, my mom put me in therapy at five, or I think four, all the years of therapy, like even during high school and, you know, all, you know, that because that's such a critical time when a child is building their confidence and their foundation of their self, their inner beliefs and outer beliefs, the root chakra is a chakra that, and I do trans, I do transcend and I, and I, and I do like, um, I do evolve, you know, I do evolve into my upper chakras, but it's always so scattered and it's never for too long to where something happens and I'm kind of like slipping back into that root space and actually currently, you know, I'm, so it's like, it's just maybe some of you guys had your confidence or somebody, you or this person had their confidence broken before it was even able to be built. 
you know, like again, that root chakra, our foundations, our beliefs are between the age of one and seven. If something was said or did to you between that age, or you didn't hear enough positive affirmations, you didn't get enough hugs, or, you know, there's something that wasn't modeled or or was modeled that, that really shaped your belief about yourself and about other things outside of you, it can be hard right it, it takes a lot of work it take and it also takes a lot of self-awareness like now i can say oh shit let me i gotta go i gotta get back to my root i think that that wound is being triggered so that may be with something that you or someone close to you may need to like look at right what's joy yeah nine of wands you want, oh my God, child, these kids. Uh, Sag, Scorpio energy. Somebody could be a November Sag, November Scorpio. Do you want more water? Hold on, Cancers, my bad for the energy. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. The, 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 you know, they don't want the, they don't be, you know, they, you know, the people be trying to, the distractions. The distractions, they don't be, they don't want y'all to hear this message, Cancer. They don't, they know this is a powerful message. It's too powerful, it's powerful. What's this in there? Baby, what did you put in there? Did you put your, what did you put? <coughs> okay, baby. Do you want more? Oh, my God. I'm glad you like water. I'm so grateful. Okay. There you go. Can't take it. Can't take it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. There you go. Okay. Don't. Oh, okay. Now. Whew. Okay. Not the wands. Aries, I mean Aries, it could, well, did this come out, did something come, okay, well, anyways, maybe you could be dealing with an Aries, or you have Aries in your chart, whatever, you, you could be an Aries dealing with a Cancer, right, um, the Nine of Wands is Sagittarius Scorpio cusp energy, so somebody could be a November Sag or a November Scorpio, all right, um, somebody's born in November, right, or something could be happening in the month of November, um, the Nine of Wands is a free spirit, the Nine of Wands is very warm-hearted. You know, they have a bad rep for, like, the, the Nine of Wands can show you a good time, but not a long time, okay? Um, this person, you know, they come in, they, like, the dancing, they, this is the dancing daisy, man or woman, or dancing Darren, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's female or male, you know, somebody, you know, they, they know how to show you a good time. Somebody could be a good dancer. Somebody could be from the Caribbean, the West Indies, African. Um, I'm getting Dominican like a dark-skinned Dominican um, or something like that, right? Or somebody could be African-American. But anyways, um, somebody, the Knight of Wands is a free spirit. They they take risks. They come and go as they please. That may be what makes you happy or that may be what makes a person happy. But the Knight of Wands, they're looking, somebody here could be, you know, the Knight of Wands knows their purpose, right? The Seven of Wands here, yeah, Empress in reverse, that mother figure, Taurus Libra energy. They don't have to be a Taurus or Libra, but that I'm just telling y'all the zodiac signs in case y'all care to learn, right? Um, Seven of Wands, Mars and Leo. Something this is about blockages, having boundaries. Some of you, there could be some self worth issues going on either with you or someone around you. The Empress in Reverse. There could be fertility issues as well. This is the sacral and the heart chakra. Okay, so somebody's sacral could be blocked. Yeah the devil here, Capricorn energy. Somebody can have a negative attachment to their mother or a mother wound, okay? There could be addictions. Yeah, yeah there's a negative pattern on repeat. Yeah, there could be two of cups in reverse, meanness and cancer, a breakup, a separation. There could be a power imbalance between you and somebody because somebody is stubborn. They don't want to look at something from a higher or different perspective. Somebody here could be closed-minded. They're just toxic, maybe. Something could be rooted in codependency. Somebody can have a sex addiction or something. Somebody here could be very flighty as well. But there's a, um, yeah, five of swords in reverse. This could be self-sabotage, mind games, gaslighting, a bully, okay? Somebody could have a mother that was a bit of a bully or just mean, all right? 
somebody has a hard time connecting with themselves and with other people there's 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 no shared intimacy you and somebody aren't on the same page or you're in disharmony within yourself some y'all could be in a same sex connection as well okay or maybe somebody likes the same sex and they're not being honest about it what's joy here yeah eight of wands in reverse yeah, King of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah, Eight of Wands in reverse, Mercury and Sagittarius here. Something could be losing momentum. Something is definitely blocked because we see the Eight of Wands is about forward movement, growth, expansion, travel. And we saw that Seven of Wands, which is some, which is a barrier. So I feel like some of you guys need to take, somebody may need to take action on something or do something. The Knight of Wands to the King of Wands, that's growth, but... Somebody may need help maturing with something. What's this Knight of Wands? Yeah, Ace of Wands, the Six of Wands, child. Gallivating uh, gala around town. The Ace of Wands is the male phallic. Okay, and then we have the Six of Wands here, Jupiter and Leo. Yeah. I feel like somebody just, somebody likes, him. yeah, the King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries energy, April, Aries, April, Taurus. Somebody's non-committal, yeah, the hero font, <laughs> Taurus energy, the root chakra. Somebody's beliefs, their knowledge, how they see things, how they see themselves. Again, that age between one and seven. You or your person, okay? Something something that somebody's holding on to that they need to purge and cleanse out of their energy. Aquarius here with the star. Okay, something needs to change. Somebody needs to let go and surrender. But I'm getting this Herman in reverse, Virgo energy. Somebody's not doing the inner work, the inner shadow work. Somebody is unable to self-reflect. Somebody is stuck on some type of past memory. Somebody's holding on to some type of, some. you know, our bodies are made up of 70 to 80 percent water and cancers you guys root the sacred chakra the sacred chakra is all about water okay so it's something i feel like somebody is stuck on something a, a past memory that's that has their that you know it's like stale water pretty much it's stale water i'll say it like that somebody here is petrified they're, they somebody may feel lonely misunderstood okay it's you know somebody could feel alone this ace of wands and six of wands here somebody could like a lot of attention they could be somebody here spreads themselves a little thin all right somebody could have some type of status hold on cancer um you know what i'm getting with this cancers for some y'all this is gonna be a, this ain't gonna be for everybody somebody here could be a porn star I ain't gonna lie, the, eight, the, 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 the the wands are male phallic. You know, the horse, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody here could like to, that, that could be, I don't know, somebody is, whether it's a man or a woman, somebody here could be in that, in the, in that in the adult industry, or somebody just likes to get around. Some of you guys could be wanting to take a creative risk here that's gonna bring you a lot of joy and happiness, maybe even recognition. It could be something creative. Some of you guys could be dancers, performers, actors, ace of wands, six of wands. Some of you guys are amongst people that are of some status or you're meant to be. What's the ace of wands and six of wands? All right, nine of swords here. Mars and Gemini. So yeah, somebody needs to release some, somebody may need to blow off some steam even. Okay, dancing would help moving your body, working out. The nine of swords in reverse is about releasing something. Somebody needs to stop caring what people think and just come out or just be themselves there. What's this eight of wands in reverse? Yeah, four of swords. Jupiter and Libra. So there could be some a resting period. Things could be slowing down for you guys because this is a time of rest. Somebody could be healing from something. Something could be in remission, okay, for some of you guys. Somebody could be feeling a lot of anxiety as well. All right, somebody, yeah, this could be a lot of overthinking, guilt, shame. What's this for a source? 
Yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there's something that I feel like somebody's overthinks about something here. It's keep it's blocking somebody's growth. It's blocking somebody's forward movement. It's causing delays. You know, the world here, Saturn energy, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. Eight of Cups, Saturn, and Pisces is about holding grudges, being stuck on something from the past. This could be a, a, a sudden return after a resting period. You guys could have taken a break from something. You could have been slowing down or you're being called to slow down. For some of you guys, there could be delays in travel, frustrations, pent up energy. Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, two of cups here in reverse. Yeah. Venus and Cancer. Yeah. So there's definitely some type of breakup, disharmony, or disunion. Somebody's like not interested. Yeah, it's just something. Yeah, two of cups in reverse. What's this here? What's this? It could even be like a friendship here. Two of cups in reverse. Oh, yeah, look at that moon card. The moon, Cancer Pisces. Yeah, somebody has, there's some intimacy issues. There's fears and worries around intimacy. Somebody's like a, a free spirit. I feel like it's more of a defense mechanism. It's more of a mask. Somebody actually worries about uh, closeness and intimacy, but I just feel like somebody just, they are, somebody's very childish. Somebody could want to turn over a new leaf with this moon in Aquarius here, or somebody got caught, there was evidence of somebody got caught doing something, or there's some receipts with this page. When I see page of wands, I get like a picture, a message, a photo, you know, something like that. There's even been something on social media with the page of wands. Yeah, a lot of fears. So again, the moon, the mother. There, and then we saw that Empress in reverse. Somebody has some mother wound here that's messing with their, that's coming, that's blocking their, their ability to be intimate with themselves and other people. So, also, some of you guys could have listened to your intuition and broke up with somebody, or vice versa. Or this is somebody around you that was going through this. Okay, what's perfection? It's definitely something that needs to be addressed with that little thing in the water. All right. Somebody's shadow side really gets in the way of their intimate relationships and things. What's perfection? Can I see that tissue? Why do you have that? Thank you. Yeah, the hero fire in reverse. Taurus energy, the root chakra. Somebody's beliefs. Somebody's in so yeah, somebody's root chakra is blocked. Yeah, nine of wands. It's like somebody that has moon and Sagittarius, somebody that has PTSD holding on to things. But this is also being at the tail end of something. It's like somebody, somebody here could be battered, bruised, whether it's emotional, physical, mental, spiritual. Yeah, yeah, Knight of, yeah, oh my God, somebody has a lot of one. The Knight of Cups, Pisces, Aquarius, February Pisces, February Aquarius, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Leo, August Virgo, August Leo, King of Wands here, July, July Cancer or Leo, but this is um Aries, Leo, Sag, Knight of Swords is here, May Gemini, May Taurus. You know, this energy, somebody is just holding on to a lot of things that they have not let go of that are keeping them that just are keeping that is, is slowing down somebody's life somebody could be impulsive they're a player they make promises they can't keep they're disloyal the nine of cups in reverse is very moody very wishy-washy they make promises they can't keep somebody could be a deadbeat or there you could have had a deadbeat parent somebody also could be there could be animal cruelty somebody could like horses or be afraid of them Somebody's very in and out, very hasty, very impulsive. Somebody lacks staying power. This is like you can't, somebody's unreliable. I don't know. What's this? What's perfection? Somebody a non committal. Somebody could be going through a divorce or breakup. 
This could be some type of outdated belief system that is just not serving someone anymore. Whether it's beliefs about yourself, themselves, or love, money, business, uh, school, whatever. It's it's the hair font is beliefs. There's some type of knowledge or belief that somebody just won't let go of. Perfection. Yeah, two of swords is here. This could be information overload. Moon and Libra. Yeah, there's a lot of indifference. Somebody can't make up their mind. They can't choose. They, yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Mercury in Virgo. This could have been something like that somebody could have been doing for work or been with somebody for 10 plus years, married for that long or at a company. But something is falling apart. And this is also like generational stuff. There's something about somebody's roots and their family ties, especially on their mother's side, that it's just, it's, it's causing blockages. Nine of Cups in reverse is like somebody that's greedy. Jupiter and Pisces, somebody greedy, they're selfish, they're arrogant, they're never satisfied. It's like gluttony. What's this hair with fun in reverse? Yeah, Queen of Wands is here. Pisces, that's fire sign energy. March Pisces, March Aries. The King of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be a Capricorn, January Capricorn, January Aquarius. Yeah, somebody, the king, I don't like the king of, the king of, I don't like any of the kings. I don't like any of the kings or queens in reverse. I don't like any of these core cards in reverse. Okay, somebody's like, has these dogmatic, it's like the popcorn, the kettle black. Somebody's a hypocrite. I forgot whose reading that came out for. Somebody's a hypocrite. Was it Sag? Anyway, somebody's a hypocrite. Somebody is very, somebody has these dogmatic views, uh, cultural, there could be cultural differences, but difference in beliefs, religions, age, race, I don't fucking know, morals, some of y'all some don't share the same morals with somebody. This person could be younger than you, there could be an age gap, or a person could just be, somebody here could be more immature or less Im or less mature than somebody here, but the king of swords in reverse is, they don't, they can't think or see straight. Somebody's foundation is totally screwed. And it, and it shows in their actions with that Queen of Wands. It's all about actions. The wands are about movement. It shows in somebody's sexual energy how they it just it shows in how it shows in someone's creativity, lack thereof. The King of Swords in reverse is somebody that's scattered brain. They can't see left from right. Somebody here could wear glasses, contacts. Okay. You know, this is somebody that is very harsh. They're very callous with their words. This could be anybody. Somebody's mother, father, baby mother, baby daddy, child, boyfriend, girlfriend, employee, co-worker, whoever. I, you know, somebody's a liar, a habitual liar. They don't, somebody, it doesn't, somebody doesn't really speak. They just do things. Like, I don't, I don't somebody's very oppressed or somebody has a lot of oppressed or suppressed emotions or somebody's just very oppressive or they had a, they, they were, they are around someone that's like this. What's this queen of wands? What's this king of swords? In the this yeah, three of swords. I can't make this shit up. Saturn and Libra. Somebody is hurt behind something. Somebody has a stain on their heart. And it either causes them to be a perfectionist or causes them to be something that they're not. And it, it, it's interfering with somebody's connections, whether it's love or business. And maybe even their money. Because Taurus and Venus are both rule, both rule with love, but they also both rule money. Libra rules the seventh house, which is about partnerships, marriages, contracts, and bus including business contracts, right? Um, Taurus rules the second house, self-worth, values, what we value, what we, what we deem worthy, and our money. So, you know, that, and we saw that Empress in reverse. That's the, the Empress's motherhood. So somebody has a deep mother wound here. And somebody has a big stain on their heart. There can also be a third party that's coming to say something to somebody that's going to, because the, the three of swords is the truth hurts. Somebody could be in denial, and this could have been, you know, and it, it happened this way because there could have either been you or someone in your energy, or this could be what your person was going through. Somebody was in denial about something for either denial about in denial about themselves or about a situation or a person for so long, and the truth comes out. You know, the truth hurts. Three of Swords here. Yeah, Nine of Cups in reverse. 
Jupiter and Pisces. Somebody just... Yeah, this could be like the other woman, other man. That Queen of Wands is typically the other, the other woman, and the King of yeah, the King and Queen of Wands are usually the other man, the other woman. Somebody could have lied, or this person, whoever, it could be saying something. But they're, they're they're coming to tell you the truth, but it or they're telling this your person the truth, but it's not with good. It's it's because they're unhappy about something. They're mad about something. Nine of Cups in reverse. What's this Two of Swords in reverse? Yeah, three of cups. Somebody was yeah, Mercury and Cancer. This could even be a friend. There's three women here. Death in reverse, Scorpio energy, the Emperor in reverse. Somebody just doesn't want to change. The Death and, and the Emperor are, they're related. They're, these are the cards that they are in relation to each other because the Death card is number 13. 13 reduces down to 4, right? 13, 1 plus 3 is 4. And then, um, and then the Emperor is number 4. Somebody just refuses to transform. They refuse to change. They're stubborn. They're set in their ways. Somebody is set in their ways. And it's because of some type of stain that's on their heart. This is a person that will call others out for, for doing things that they're doing. So some, some, a person could have had a parent like that, or they've adapted these values, these beliefs from someone that is, is, you know, it's just not good. Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody needs to do some deep inner child healing. Somebody needs to heal from something. Somebody's like PTSD. They're holding on to something. They, 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 it's not allowing somebody to grow up or hold themselves accountable. Or you guys may not be holding somebody accountable. This is someone else. Or cross watcher, you're not holding cancer accountable. Three of cups here. Yeah, page of swords. There could be two faced friends or people around you gossiping or people that you go to school with, work with. Here, page of swords here. Yeah, the emperor in reverse. Somebody could be having paternity issues about a child, Aries energy. Yeah, Page of Cups. I mean, the Page of Swords belongs to the King of Swords, but the King of Swords is in reverse. So that could be with something that's coming out. Uh, there could have been somebody, a child, is somebody finding out that a child is not theirs. For some of y'all, or this could be something about, uh, somebody's a deadbeat also. This could be a, a child of, you can have a child, a son, or or something that's a deadbeat, or maybe they're abusive, or they're being abused in some way. I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody. But this is you or your person. The Emperor in Reverse doesn't take accountability. The Page of Swords here, somebody's very immature in their communication. The King of Swords in Reverse, but the Page of Swords upright, somebody communicates very immaturely. They don't hold themselves accountable. They're just, they're set in their ways. Somebody is just setting their ways. Somebody's abusing their position of authority as well. This, this could be a manager or a boss or supervisor that's very micro, that micromanages you or someone here. Somebody's a control freak. This could be a group that I don't know. I'm getting something about some two faced. Somebody's very two faced. Somebody's been playing both sides to multiple. If there's multiple people involved, somebody's been playing everybody. Everybody's been getting played in a situation. What's the emperor in reverse? Yeah, four wands. Venus and Aries. Foundation. So somebody could have had an absent father growing up, or somebody's shh. Somebody's father wasn't present, like they should have been, or they could have been in and out, or this somebody's father could have had kids with multiple people. I don't know. Somebody here could be married, but they're a, they're a cheater. Or they could be living with somebody or in a commitment, but they're, I don't know. The lover is here, Gemini energy, yeah. And some of y'all, this could be your twin or your counterpart that's in distorted energy. So twin flame or soulmate or not. I don't, I don't, I'm never going to tell y'all to wait for nobody or, oh, you can come in and save. I ain't going to never tell y'all that. <laughs> Twin or not, this part, the, the contract will get ripped to shreds if somebody isn't doing the work. You only got but so much time.
I feel like somebody's not, somebody didn't have a present. Somebody didn't have a good masculine presence in the house. Somebody's masculine energy is very distorted. Four of Wands. Yeah, that, yeah, here, yeah, somebody's a deadbeat. Somebody's a deadbeat. Yeah, something to do with a child. Somebody's leaving a child out in the cold or they've been left out in the cold as a child. I feel like somebody's not being honest with you about something or you're not being honest with someone. Here, the Herman here, Virgo energy. So maybe somebody's, a, if there's two different homes, maybe somebody's father or, or a father figure is a parent to one child in one home but not to an, I don't know. Something to do with kids or somebody's inner child, but somebody definitely is an absentee parent or they had an absent parent. Somebody doesn't hold themselves accountable. They 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 just they don't somebody's not self-reflecting. Somebody doesn't know how to be alone. So and there's and there's also like uh, there's a lot of performance based things. Somebody's actions are very performative. They're not genuine. Some of y'all with this Herman in reverse, you didn't do the, you didn't check that. You didn't fact check something or someone or somebody didn't do this with you. What's forgiveness? Yeah, the temperance here, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, somebody needs to forgive and come into peace and come into terms with something within themselves. Forgiveness. Yeah, six of swords, Mercury and Aquarius so they can move on. So they can move to calmer waters, so they can get out of this self-imposed victim mentality, self-imposed imprisonment, temperance. Yeah, seven of cups in reverse. Somebody here could like to drink or smoke a lot. Venus in uh, Scorpio with the seven of cups. Yeah, there's something that's gonna be a missed opportunity. Unfortunately, seven of cups in reverse. Yeah, king of cups. Somebody's like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, October, Libra, October, Scorpio. Somebody could be drinking a lot. Yeah, what's this king of cups? Somebody could be dreaming of someone. This could be like a spirit guide for some of you. I just some y'all somebody needs to forgive something or someone or forgive and forgive themselves to King of Cups, Ten of Wands, Saturn and Sagittarius. A lot of burden somebody is carrying. Somebody's carrying a, a lot of emotional dead weight. Somebody really needs to come into balance and harmony with themselves. And the only way they're gonna be able to do that, somebody's somebody can also with the seven of cups in reverse, somebody could be somebody could be waking up to, to something. Somebody could be waking up that they've been carrying all the emotional labor or all the labor and something, or they've been holding on to something for too long, or someone, or they need to like drop, something needs to be dropped. Somebody needs to move on, forgive and move on, or forgive themselves. Six of Swords. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's missing an opportunity. Chariot here. Yeah, I feel like somebody's just gonna move forward. Somebody could have been breadcrumbing. Yeah, somebody somebody has code of very bad codependency issues, very bad commitment issues money a very unhealthy attachment or relationship to money somebody's ungrounded they're insecure somebody here can even pay for sex they can do things for money somebody here you know, you know somebody could drive a vehicle for work work for transportation or it could be a trucker what's the ace of pentacles in reverse queen of swords in reverse virgo leo i mean virgo libra energy september virgo september libra Yeah, I, I just feel like this the king and queen of swords in reverse. This could be a nasty divorce. Or this could be this could be both of you. Somebody is yeah, this is like bitterness. Somebody here could be feeling a bit bitter, which I don't, you know, if somebody's gallivanting around town or doing a whole bunch of lying, deceiving, and you hearing things from other people and you know, and all the people getting, I don't know, you know, you being abandoned or used or whatever, or this is, I don't, I don't, somebody here could feeling, somebody could be feeling a bit bitter. Somebody could have also left somebody behind, somebody could be having fertility issues. That could have caused a strain on something. Yeah, a ton of cups here. 
This could be a family time. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to have more kids or they want to expand on something and maybe the other person didn't or they couldn't. And that's kind of like, you know, that's, I mean, conversations need to be had. Keep putting the swords in reverse. Yeah, the judgment. Yeah, I feel like somebody's calling judgment on something. Somebody could have also lied. Yeah, some of y'all may need to, some of y'all could be having a hard time forgiving someone. This can also be a confession too with the judgment here. Ace of Swords is some type of truth and clarity. Yeah, something is changing. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all could be feeling really, yeah, somebody's like feeling betrayed, really emotional at this time, sad, depressed. Somebody could be pregnant. I'm just getting, there's a missed opportunity. Somebody did something really reckless. Somebody did something really reckless. And they're going to have to just, somebody, it's not the, they made their bet. They're going to have to lie in it. Judgment. Yeah, hi, there's a big secret. Judgment here. I mean, the high priestess, cancer, Pisces. Yeah, there's a big secret about this queen of swords in reverse. Yeah, you can have a child with this person or they have kids, Scorpio energy. This could be a, a, a child of yours, a sibling. Or somebody that you have a history or a past with. Or something about something about your childhood or a memory or an experience you went through that you're still operating out of. Somebody's operating out of pain. What's this high priestess in reverse? Yeah, oh my God, Empress in reverse. Somebody could have lied about being pregnant. Taurus, Libra energy. Or maybe somebody could somebody could be having fertility issues. Somebody made a judgment. Be, wow. The lover's hair. Gemini energy. So, uh, yeah, well. Huh. Empress in reverse, Taurus, Libra here. Empress in reverse and the high priestess in reverse is fertility issues. Somebody could have got, you know, my condolences if anybody miscarried. But um, somebody here, or somebody's mother, somebody here, they could, this could be somebody's baby mother or their ex-wife or spouse that could be behind the scenes doing things, okay? Damn, they don't want, yeah, they, somebody want to keep this secret. Somebody could, this, there's a mother, somebody has a, a, this could be a man too, that just has a really severe, deep mother wound. Something is coming out about a mother figure. Somebody's mother, their child's mother, or something. Somebody could be emotionally unstable. They could be having a lot of outbursts. Somebody, there, you know, somebody's heart, somebody's heart chakra and sacral chakra are blocked and somebody's third eye is blocked. Something could be going on with somebody's hormones, their thyroids. It's, yeah. What's this chakra healing here? Lack of creativity, yeah. What else? Fear, fear of commitment. <laughs> yeah, somebody's commitment phobic. Not trusting your own intuition. Somebody's not listening to their intuition. Somebody made a, a very poor decision. Difficulty accepting changes or change. Ungrounded. Yeah. I don't see no, there's no pentacles in this reading aside from the ace of pentacles. <laughs> Somebody's foundation is non-existent pretty much. Somebody's very disconnected from their body and their spiritual self. They don't operate from their spiritual self at all. Somebody could even be an atheist fear of speaking yeah somebody's not speaking up about there is somebody that's been and this has been coming out in your readings for the past few readings cancers somebody's been keeping something in just trying to avoid saying something or being honest that is causing somebody to have outbursts it could be even causing somebody to become sick or infertile or sterile or something like that it's, it's making some is is worrying about basic needs Something is making somebody unwell. Suppressed anger, feeling helpless, resentment. Overly analytical, somebody's scatterbrained, they're overthinking everything. They can't think, see so with the king and queen of swords in reverse. Throat chakra, yes. 
communication, self-expression, healing, and releasing. It's also about creativity. The crystals are soul delight, angelite, blue lace agate. The element is the ether. Archangel Michael, it says, I speak only the truth and I listen to others. Again, I speak only the truth and I listen to others. Somebody's a liar. Somebody needs to, somebody's lying about something. It could be, it could be a man. This could be, this, this empress in reverse could be a man that's in distorted feminine energy. This person doesn't, they don't have no self-worth. They're, they're blocked. They can't create nothing. They're, especially if they're spreading their, their seed everywhere or their sexual energy everywhere. They're depleted probably. Or they can't create fearful and scared. Not feeling good enough. Somebody's self-worth is compromised. Or it's just, yeah, heart, heart chakra. The empress in reverse. The empress is the heart and sacral. If heart chakra. Love, acceptance, compassion, growth, and balance. And the heart chakra comes before the throat. If somebody's heart chakra is blocked off or stained, it's going to be blocked. This person is not going to speak from their heart. They're going to speak from their mind and their ego. Love, acceptance, compassion, growth, and balance. The crystals are green aritrine, rose quartz, amazonite, rondochrosite. The element is air. Archangel Chamuel. It says, I accept, respect, and love myself, and I am worthy of receiving love. Again, I accept, respect, and love myself, and I am worthy of receiving love. The faster somebody accepts themselves for who they are, the more happier, the more joyous somebody, the more free somebody can be. There could be unwanted attention that somebody could be getting. Feeling fatigued, yeah. Low self-esteem, clearly. Somebody has mother and father wounds. But the mother wound just seems to be the strongest or what's being triggered or activated right now. Or it needs to be targeted first, I don't know. Self-sabotaging, yeah. Feeling unworthy. Uh -huh. Let's get a three more. Clouded judgment, yeah. Somebody's suppressing their intuition. Lack of love and compassion. Yeah, somebody didn't get hugged or loved or breastfed or something as a kid. I don't know. Those things are very important. <laughs> Lying and deceptive behavior. I want to get more. Or they didn't get hugged enough. Root chakra, bitch, didn't we say? The solar plexus. Somebody needs to just heal. Somebody needs to start with the root and work their way up. Root chakra, safety, stability, survival, security. And somebody could lie as a way to protect themselves, especially if this person used to get in trouble a lot as a kid, or you, or maybe you have a child that's like this, that lies, because you could be a bit intense, maybe. I don't know, Cancers. You know, you guys are the mother of astrology, and I know I'm not, I'm not coming to my cancer women who are great mothers or you've learned to be great mothers. I'm not attacking you. But the men that I've dated, wow, so. I've, four of my exes and four, four guys that heavily impacted me had cancer mothers. And they were, the stories that they've told me, the things I've, I've experienced for myself, through the dynamics of the, the mother and son work, it's horrific. So, cancers, if you got, if you're a woman and you have a son, be mindful of that or a daughter. And if you're a cancer man, you may want to look at your dynamic with your mother. Okay, root chakra, safety, stability, survival, and security. Um, and if you're dealing, if you're a woman or a man that's dealing with a cancer partner, you may have some underlying mother wounds or issues around your self worth. That maybe whether it's your mother caused it by, you know, comparing you to other siblings or to people or you didn't see her really model anything like you saw her do everything. I don't know something about her self-worth and that could have been passed down to, you know what I'm saying? Like you're going to have to like really take an honest look at things. OK, because cancers, again, they rule the mother, whether you're dealing with a cancer man or a cancer woman. When that when they when you're dealing with the cancer, there's something about a mother wound that needs to be addressed. Okay? Or something about yeah, a mother wound. <laughs> yeah. Your self worth, your heart, your sacral, how you were mother how you mother as a person or how you were mothered. And something about remothering yourself. Crystals are red, jasper, rumi, and hematite. The element is earth. <laughs> She's so 
um, Archangel Gabriel. It says, I am supported, safe, and secure, and I have a right to be here. It says, I am supported, safe, and secure, and I have a right to be here. Yeah, somebody's foundation is just not there. Resentment. And we got mood swings, controlling and manipulative. Somebody could have a very... Yeah, somebody's mother could be... With the Empress in reverse, that's somebody that's very needy, codependent. They're draining. They'll drain your pockets. They'll drain... They suck up the whole energy in the room. Like, it's like, damn, leave some for us. Like, they just suck up every fucking thing so that could be somebody's weird ass mother so, no if i'm i don't know i'm sorry or somebody's weird ass child's mother or something ex-spouse or spouse i don't know but somebody I, I feel like somebody got distracted or somebody was being somebody was being a bit greedy or somebody just i don't know somebody just needs to mm -hmm. Somebody has to deal with some things. Um, so your first reading, what numbers you guys got? You guys got 555, 999, 444, and 777. Aries had got 444. Leo had got 444. Scorpio had got 555 like you guys. Um, Leo got 888 as well. Um... Taurus, no, um, and then Cap, and then Capricorn, and Capricorn is your sister sign, so always go watch Capricorn's reading to get the full, you know, but anyways, Cancer, this was your reading, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later, bye.